and then I'll just mirror this. This, this so this is going to be total in interest income, and we'll say this came from bank one was one hundred dollars. The total I'll just sum it up it equals the sum of that. Boom, one hundred dollars. Now I need to include that in the total down below which is the W-2 income plus the interest income is now at the $100,100, which is pulling in our formula to page one. So again, logistically, you would think that the tax return would use the sub schedules in order to feed into like the main sheet as we are doing here. And that would be the use of the schedule B. But you'll recall that uh, historically, what the IRS wanted to do, it seems to me, is to try to make a very short form because that was that was advantageous, especially when you had to do them by paper and not by software. So they wanted to put everything on one page that they could. So these line items being broke out down here have been there for some time as kind of a legacy type of thing instead of just summing everything up into income. And the reason they want the Schedule B isn't to basically or originally wasn't so they can sum everything up to the first page, but rather to get more information only when you need it, it would be the general idea. So the Schedule B is listing the institutions and the IRS is gonna want that added information breaking out the individual uh, interest incomes. Uh, if, if your income is over a certain threshold, that would indicate that you're fairly well off because interest is usually fairly low in terms of a rate of interest. So if you're getting over 1,500 of interest, you must have a you know fairly substantial amount of money in the bank would be the idea. And the IRS might want to, you know, it kind of gives an idea of the IRS to keep an eye on someone who might, you know, if they die or something, they want to make sure that they come pick your pockets with the death tax or something like that. Might give them a heads up on, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really know. <laughs> but let's go back on over and say, we could of course have multiple institutions. So we might have like added bank. We've got bank number two and or and and gives us interest let's say of of uh, 170 so we're still well under the limit and therefore those two are going to be combined and pull into basically page one of the form 1040 now at 270 we can mirror that on our excel worksheet by going to our income and say now we have 